know, he's, uh, uh, before that Terrence Crawford fight, he was considered one of the best fighters in the world. So let's do it. Ooh, what's going on? Woody P coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're going to talk some boxing. We had a great card last night. Great card. Seen the undercard of the pay per view bout. You had Isaac Pitbull Cruz versus Rolly Romero. Pitbull almost got him out of there in the first round. Yes, he dismantled Rolly Romero. Yes. Pitbull, he say, I'm no joke. I come up to 140, I'm no joke. Pitbull Cruz. So that was a great fight. You know why I lasted. Pitbull come non-stop pressure. Pitbull keep coming at you. He don't stop. So Pitbull pit, put people on notice at 140. Say, I'm here. And we had the main event, Tim Zhu versus Fandora. And this was a bloodbath from the second round on. This was a bloodbath from the second round on. I did a breakdown and a prediction to this fight. And I had Tim Zhu, you know, winning this fight, coming into this fight. And this is why you love boxing. Shit can change like this. That cut on Tim Zhu's head, it changed the, it changed the complete fight against Sebastian Fandor. Yes, it can play, it can change the complete fight. After that cut, after the second round on, Tim Zhu could no longer get inside. Because he was able to get inside, you know, Bob and weave his way inside and land some power shots through the guard of Sebastian Fendora. But after that cut to the head and, you know, blood, you know, gushing down his face and he not being able to see, I give Tim Zhu maybe two rounds after that three three maybe stretching it but sebastian fendora he did what we didn't think he would do he fought from the outside he used range he fought behind a jab and he didn't change anything the entire fight sebastian fendora in my opinion this is why i think tim zoo you you can't say woulda shoulda coulda and if this if that but sebastian fendora didn't do anything special the entire fight, he just jabbed and he threw, you know, looping hooks at times. You know, but he, he, he fought behind the stick and he fought with range. But I feel like Tim Zhu, had he had his vision, he would have been able to, you know, parry a lot of those shots and, you know, get inside like he did the first two rounds. And this is what I'll say. Tim Zhu has Sebastian Fendor bleeding from punches. Sebastian Fendora had Tim Zhu bleeding from, and it wasn't Sebastian Fendora's fault. Tim Zhu just, he lunged in, you know, hit his elbow. So it's not Sebastian Fendora's fault, but I will say, Tim Zhu had him bleeding from punches, and I feel like we were going to see a lot of that from, you know, the second round on, because we seen how Tim Zhu, he had his rhythm, he was bobbing and weaving, you know, and he, was getting inside. This is one thing I will say about Tim Zhu, though. Once you knew Sebastian Fedora couldn't hurt you and that jab was just, you know, more so keeping you at bay and stopping you from getting inside, you should have went for broke. You should, the fight, you should have just really muddied up the fight. It was already bloody. He should have just muddied up the fight. Once you know he can't hurt me, that's when you take your chance and go all out. Tim Zhu, he tried to press the gas, you know, as the later on in the championship rounds, but... Earlier, he should have basically just just tried to maul Sebastian Fedora. Once you know he can't hurt you, you know, and you can't really see, just go for broke. That's one thing I will say Tim Zhu should have done in that fight. That's the only thing I will say he could have done. But we'll see. They say they're going to order Sebastian Fedora versus Terrence Crawford. Next week, they're going to start those negotiations because Errol Spence, he tried to you know, come in the ring and steal some food off of Terrence Crawford plate. But we'll see. You know how, you know, these boxing politics can get. But Earl Spence, he come in the ring. He say he wants Sebastian Fedora, but we know Terrence Crawford elevated his WBO super champion status to become the mandatory of the winner. So see how it play out. Also was hearing that Tim Zua and Fedora have a rematch clause. So we'll see how it play out, you know. But Fedora, he definitely earned the win. Good win. Would love to see a rematch, but Fedor he earned it and he 
did what we didn't think he could do. He fought from the outside, used his range, and fought behind a jab. Led him to victory. But talk some box. Let me know what y'all think. Drop some down in the comments. Keep the fire coming. Keep it rolling. That's why you can help us share the video. Video entertain and hit that cash app, baby. But I do. I love it. We're going to knock another one out. Bah, bah, bah. Let's get it.